How to find a living room wall unit that matches your style. Hello everyone, and welcome to Decor Art Channel. It's time to pick a new wall unit for your living room. Will it be a standalone unit, or a wall-mounted one? Will it have lots of open shelves, or will it be more of a closed cabinet sort of unit? Will it match the dining room set or not? How much storage will it offer? And what will you be storing in it? These are all questions that you need to answer before you actually make a decision. It's always good to do some research in such cases or else you might end up regretting your choice or constantly finding ways in which you could have improved it if only you were inspired enough to do so. Given all the different design possibilities, picking the right living room wall unit can be a very difficult task, but perhaps these examples can steer you in the right direction. A living room wall unit needs to be functional to make the room feel comfortable and also to be representative of your own style and design preferences. Before anything else, you should measure the living room. The wall unit should occupy no more than two-thirds of the wall's length. If it's too big or too small, it can make the room feel unbalanced and ultimately inhospitable. A wall unit that's too large can overload the room, but that's not usually the case with modern designs, which are almost always minimalist and modular. The living room wall unit helps you organize all the things that you normally keep in this space. It's important to know what types of items you'll be storing in it before you pick a design or a style. Take some time to imagine how the items that you want to keep in the wall unit will look like when in place. This can help you visualize the type of design or structure that the wall unit should have. Open shelves are great for storing and displaying books, planters, vases, and all sorts of decorations. While closed cabinet modules are better if you want to keep some things out of sight. The wall unit doesn't have to match anything else in the living room but, of course, you're free to do so if you wish. Think of the unit in the context of the room. This helps if you're trying to establish a theme for the whole decor. Functionality should come first and aesthetics should follow. Ideally, they'll be in harmony and they'll complement each other. Think of how you'll prefer to use the unit but also how you'd want it to look in relation to you and to your guests. Although the wall unit doesn't have to match other furniture pieces in the room, sometimes it's nice if it does so. On this note, it could also be nice to play with different hues of the same color. If you feel that your living room could use a large wall unit with lots of storage then, by all means, you should have one. You can make it appear lightweight and less overwhelming with the help of lead light strip, mirror, and by mounting the wall on the wall some distance from the floor. A standalone wall unit can have its advantages too. For example, it can be practical to have a unit that's not fixed to a wall. So you can move it around in case you wish to reorganize your living room. Based on what type of items you want your wall unit to accommodate, you'll have to decide on a design, a size, and a structure. These open shelves with accent lighting are great for displaying books and collectibles. The TV is almost always a part of the living room's design, often integrated into the wall unit installation. Be sure to leave some extra space around the TV in case you'll want to get a bigger one in the future. There's a lot that you can pack into a living room wall unit. You can include features that are less common but important to you, such as a minibar or a small desk. If you have a large book collection, find the best way to display it. 
There are many different ways in which you can integrate the TV into the wall unit's design and structure. One option is a built-in TV holder like this swivel rod. Another option is to attach directly to the wall in which case the unit would be built around it. The TV can also be attached to a back panel which is in turn attached to the wall and to the wall unit. The panel also usually creates an eye-catching backdrop for the TV and the room. Install LED light strips to the underside of your wall-mounted living room unit. It will provide ambient lighting and it will also look cool. It's one of the extra features that can make all the difference. You can mix and match various individual modules as opposed to having a single wall unit. For example, you can have a freestanding cabinet entertainment center and several shelves up on the wall. A combination of different colors, finishes, and shapes can make a wall unit look unique. Consider complementary tones or finishes that match other elements in the room. Perhaps you could create a visual connection between the unit and the coffee table or the sofa. The living room unit doesn't have to cover the wall all the way up. In fact, it's best if it doesn't, because this way the room feels more airy and open, and also more welcoming and comfortable. A minimalist living room unit can be a stylish choice for contemporary homes. You can highlight its beauty in all sorts of chic ways. Perhaps you could wallpaper the wall behind it for added visual appeal. The living room wall unit should be functional, user-friendly, and good-looking, but more importantly, it should express your own style, and that's often the most difficult thing of all. Take some time to define your style first.